Hey what is up guys, Colossus Next here, here today with another exercise tutorial video. Today we're going to be talking about the plate raises, and more importantly, do your arms need to be straight for plate raises? So in the traditional form of the exercise, your arms are straight. You lift the plate up to your face or to your shoulder line, and then you bring it back down again without bending your arms. That is traditionally what the good form looks like. When I'm working with a new client, I typically get them to do it with the straight arms because when you're just building up some shoulder strength, it can be a difficult movement, especially if you're not used to the way your body moves. So it's just a lot easier to keep your arms straight. But there might come a point in your training where you're building up a good amount of strength in your shoulder and your elbow joint just can't support holding the weight far across from you at your wrists. It can just be really hard for your elbows and uh, I just don't think that it's worth risking an elbow injury forcing your elbows to be straight. When you're lifting a lot of weight, I think that that can compromise your elbow joint. So what I'm recommending, if you're doing some heavier plate raises or not even with the plate raise, maybe you're using a dumbbell because you've moved past the 45 pound stage, keeping a slight bend in your arms might be beneficial to keeping your elbows healthy. So if you are gonna do plate raises with a bent arm, that leaves the question, how high should my hands go? How high should the plate go? Because in a traditional plate raise, you're only supposed to go up to your shoulder line. Since the anterior deltoid attaches to the humerus, it really doesn't matter how much your elbow is bent. You just wanna keep your elbow in a safe position, especially when you're like moving a lot of weight far away from your body. So to perform a bent arm plate raise, what you need to do is grip the plate, allow a slight bend in your elbows, and lift so that your elbows reach your shoulder line. So you're not really too concerned as to where your wrists end up. What you're looking for is that your elbows end up in line with your shoulder. So your shoulder's acting as a hinge between your shoulder joint and your elbow joint. You're lifting the plate up. Don't be too concerned about where the plate ends up in the air as long as your elbow feels safe moving uh, the weight. So when is it an appropriate time to do a bent arm plate raise? I think when you reach a point when you're wanting to challenge yourself to heavier amounts of weight and you're worried about your elbow and wrist joints being compromised, I think that's a good time for you to allow a bent arm as long as you remember to lift your elbow joint as high and as in line with your shoulder as possible. And it really doesn't matter how much your elbows are bent since your shoulder muscles don't go past your elbows. So keep that in mind when you're moving heavier amounts of weight. And if you wanna keep your arms straight, it is gonna be more difficult, which I think can be a really good challenge. But just try and keep in mind when you are using a lot of weight and you're doing a plate raise type movement, it does create a bit of force on your elbow joint that you should just always keep in mind of. Okay, that's gonna do it for this tutorial video. Hope you guys liked it. Subscribe for more content. Klaus next out.